Clan After Story is the sequel to the critically acclaimed Slice of Life series Clan Ed. Begin after Tomo Omaziki and Nakisa Fukuyama graduate from high school. Together they experience the emotional roller coaster growing up. Unable to decide a course for his future, Tomo learns the value of strong worth, ethics, and discovering the strength of Nagasaki's support. Through the couple's dedication and unity of purpose, they push forward to confront their personal problem, deepening their old friendships and relationships and creating a new bond. Time also moves on in the illusionary world. As the plane grows cold with a approach of winter, the illusionary girl and the garbage doll are presented with a difficult situation that reveals the world's true purpose. Based on the visual novel by Keen produced by Kato Animation, Clan After Story is an impactful drama highlighting the importance of family and the struggles of adulthood. Uh, it has another Clan Ed movie. Pre the, the first uh, season is Clan Ed. And they have another alternate setting, Clan Ed After Story, Moe Hiyosiko no Senke Keo Hen. This Anime has about 24 episodes. It premiered October 3rd, 2008 to March 27, 2009. Um, based off of the popular visual novel, it is comedy, drama, romance, slice of life, and supernatural. Each episode is 24 minutes per episode and it's rated PG-13. Now let's get started into the review. What I really like about Clan Act Story is that it had me on a roller coaster of emotions and if you've seen Clan After Story then you know. Um, I laughed, I cried, and you know when I first watched this, I think I was in like middle of my high school when I first had watched this and it just brought me to tears. Um, overall in, in Clan After Story, you know, I think it had a major impact on my life in middle school, high school that uh, I will live for the rest of my life and you know I feel like it takes a certain anime to have me that legitly move to a certain to make certain decisions in my life for better or for worse in some sense you know the anime can compare to that i feel like you know during class story you have to watch clan after that's the first the catalyst to set it off and then having it be an adaptation from a visual novel and though you know with the novel from first season it's not entirely recommended to watch the second season i think it's highly recommendable so you understand like who these characters are what their backstory is and the personality and how they got to the where they are now and I feel like overall, Clan After Story, or most people call it Clan AS, as most people would call it now, I think at a glance, you know, you are given these individual elements and variables between these characters, and you just have to go through it. I think also with the story, you know, the art style, animation, the sounds, the characters, and the overall enjoyment factor is stunning. I feel like overall the main you know story for from the first season to the second season which is a clan out story or clan as you know gives the viewers a story of life and basically the hardships you go through life and i think you know that also ties in with the themes of despair and the themes of forgiveness and the theme of hope and so forth in the story because clan act story can be a very powerful anime that changes the way you perceive the world around you you know i understand maybe people might not enjoy clan ed and you know especially since you know some of the ideas are very outlandish, but I think overall the concept and basic focal point of Clan is when you get the audience to watch a story of a main character that goes through life challenges, the struggles that he's gone through, especially facing the the adversity of adulthood. And I think, you know, he comes to a better understanding, you know, uh, a little bit about the main character. He comes from a slice of life of a delinquent who can seem to do anything right and struggles to protect what really matters to him and when the world comes crashing down on him. And I think the whole term slice of life can be a very deceptive term. I feel like when you're watching Clan Ed, um, you don't get that much life out of the main character, but slice of life out of, you know, other character's life and, you know, who he's involved with. And that pacing of time, you know, you learn the reality of the truth and the general meaning of life goes on. I think overall, like having that extend for many years, the true significance of every event began to emerge. Then Clannon takes the tale of the first season, shapes it to become a single round person as that characteristic and the reflection of life delved into what many shows do not and can't do represent the story after the story. And I think also while Clannon's story gives you many situations that might be overblown or, or excessively dramatized, I feel like, you know, that might be true for this anime, but it gives the uh, insight onto what is life and what does that matter? When do miracles happen? When do you, you as a child, have these, you know, your imagination just runs wild. You see like magic or signs through, through the sky as a child, but growing up, you kind of lose that magic. And as an adulthood, you still kind of slowly lose that magic inside yourself once it's something a child brings it out of you, basically. And I think 
you know, on the surface, it looks like a cheerful anime, but, you know, after a while watching Planet Astro, it'll turn you on your heads, and it'll make you cry, it'll make you laugh, it'll make you smile, it'll make you cheer for the characters till you can't cheer for no more, it'll make you cry till you literally can't cry no more. I don't know how many times I actually like rewatched this anime where I've cried a thousand times. The moment still get me, even though I know it's coming. It still gets me every single time that the heartfelt moments is bring me just brings tears to my eyes. And I feel like also like the power that Clannon has, especially with its characters, you know, many of the main characters, their stories, their backstories, and how they focus on life, especially the main protagonist on how those who surround him and like, you know, his life was not very of a much good upbringing you know he's considered a failure in this cruel world and since he was most like the anti-hero you know he tried so hard to face life um through the pain and struggle through his life and i feel like you know he was given the second chance in clash story you know to redeem himself and you know it does deal with a lot of like real world issues like you know losing a loved one um creating friendship rediscovering friendships and you know coping and suffering i think also you know in clan there's two endings to this so you'll be given one ending in clan after story and then you'll be getting another ending like the the physical true ending of how you know his life could have been one way versus another way and you know it gets on with the result of these your demands you get to be something as human like you're a human being and these stories produce such raw emotions to make me consider you know my view and perspective on the world especially that of people i have in my everyday life and i feel like through you know through the commentary of his life and the moral struggles that people are put through on a daily basis, his and mine, I feel like you kind of aren't, aren't able to understand half what he did. And I feel like in true respect that, you know, it keeps him going. Despite him being a fictional character, he has his motivation and goals to keep him going throughout the end of the day and keep him moving forward, wanting to push and better himself. I think that's also, like, why we are so rooting for this character and, like, what he goes through to create a bond and create, you know, this unit that he's trying to hold for himself and people he's around with. And I think truly, you know, that's what we go through on a daily basis. Like the struggles around us make us better or stronger, you know, they might push us to our limit, but you know, in the end, what makes us a better person, make a stronger one to reach for our goals toward being more ambitious to have a better future. And I think also like how can one anime influence, you know, the character, influence the lives of others. I'd like even for like a fictional character, you know, to touch the lives of so many people and still have that cheerjerker moment in these anime is nothing short of of a good anime. You know, the the story development's there, the character progression is there, like everything is so well balanced out. And I feel like also you have an emotional connection to these characters because you're rooting for them to to be successful and to succeed. And overall, like the enjoyment is very different. I understand clan might not be for everybody, but those who like, you know, drop the first season or maybe pick it back up and then already maybe just go straight to clan after story, you know, it's totally in a league of its own, like its own playing field because every person has that one anime that leads above and beyond the rest and leads a very lasting impression. And for me, that anime was clan and I was first starting getting to anime it was this anime that truly, you know, you can't put into words how much it had affected me and, you know, I feel like it was one of these anime that was just like the pinnacle of like that the interpretation of that phrase the diamond in the rough because this is the anime that kind of was that sitting callous besides you know watching say them into a community but this was the one that truly brought tears to my eyes and truly taught me to reevaluate the world around me and then and the friendship circles that i have now that i really truly treasure forever but don't take my word for it definitely check out clan at the story you have already and let me know what you think and let me know down in the comments what moments from planet brought tears to your eyes and let me know what you would have thought about you know you know the clan has two endings so tell me you like the first ending better or the second ending better but until then guys hope you stay safe stay well and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel but until then i'll see you soon bye